Hello guys, um, how are you? So this is Mark and welcome back again here on your YouTube channel, Heavy TV. So this time guys, um, on this day, um, this is the continuation of um, our video on planting new plants on our gava fish planting tank. And of course, we're gonna use um, some garden soil and gravel for you know to lessen the cost i'm gonna use garden soil and um gravel as our substrate yeah just like that and also if if we have time um, i'm gonna show you also some of our gala fish crossbreeding uh, update just like that so yeah what we're waiting for let's go <laughs> hello guys so um if you notice this tank i just i just set up this um i guess three days ago and still uh the water is not cycled enough and you know uh there are a lot of space and there's still space that we can uh we can plant our new plants here but we're gonna do are uh, we gonna take also another um, tank for our some of our plants and and of course uh, because these plants this is our dwarf this is our dwarf sagittaria uh, it's not yet blooming because I've just I've just planted it uh, three days ago uh, so what you can see those those green algae sticking on the drip food um it's not overwhelming the tank yet overwhelming <laughs> uh, we need to put um at least we need to plant at least one third of the tank so that um the algae will not overtake those plants um we can control those algae by planting one third of your tank should i say just like that and as well you can see that's what you notice i'm using gravel at the top on its substrate and um, below the garden soil just like that <laughs> so that's it and also here we're gonna clean also this tank uh, we're gonna put garden soil also i'm gonna show you how to pour it inside on it and those shrimps also the the yellow golden back shrimps we're gonna put that we're gonna place them on a bigger you know plastic container because I know there are a lot of shrimplets it's still on this tank and we don't want them we don't to we don't want to lose them of course <laughs> So that's it so let's start and also is these are our plants that we've just bought you know so we're gonna plant we're gonna plant those plants on our tank but uh, this is just only a sample how we're gonna do it using garden soil as your substrate so let's go <clears throat> so guys that's what you can see on the tank that we are going to use um there are a lot of calcium you know calcium on the glass so we're gonna get rid of this so that it's gonna be a clearer thing of course <laughs> so we're gonna use this um our ultimate weapon and don't worry uh, as what i've shown you in our previous videos uh this would not um this would not scratch the tanks the glass so uh you don't need to worry about it so yeah let's start scratching it <laughs> so this is how you do it yeah just like that and this is safer than using any of those soap base you know cleaner like that and of course it will not harm the
and don't worry about the shrimp and the garfish, they'll be fine. <laughs> eliminating those calcium build up uh, just to siphon the water and then transfer those inhabitants um, on the other tank so that uh, we're gonna use this tank for a plenty tank plenty gappy fish tank so after after a few seconds few seconds <laughs> after a few seconds uh, we just clean the tank See, it's cleaner now, right? Yeah. So what we are going to do today, I mean, what we're gonna do this time is to collect some garden soil and gravel for it as our substrate, <laughs> so that we can start planting. All right. So let's go. <laughs> let's collect um, gravel. So we're using this little shovel. <laughs> So let's get a fine gravel here. Yeah, I guess in here. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Yes, this is already enough for a small tank. And then let's clean it up. Let's just wash it for I guess ten times. <laughs> ten times is enough for that. Ten times is enough to clean the gravel. Really nigga? you'll know using gravel is safer than uh, those color bait those color beads because it has a lot of toxic dye toxic for your fish and of course your fish uh, might die because of those dyed So from here we already have the gravel uh, already cleaned up 10 times uh, also uh, the garden soil right there <laughs> actually you can also sterilize the gravel and the garden soil by by washing them with the boiled water so that those um, so that those um, harmful bacteria will be eliminated just like that but depends with you if you just wash them and just clean the uh, garden so well uh, it's up to you how you do it all right <laughs> so but for me uh, washing it, washing them is just um, is just enough and cleaning them of course uh, so let's go let's add first uh, let's add first the the garden soil as our bottom substrate <laughs> so, yeah So next, uh, we're gonna add the gravel. And I'm so sorry, guys, because I'm 
only the one who who made this video and I don't have anybody to to back me up <laughs> so please bear with me <laughs> so it's odd now So from here we already have our plants here <laughs> and it's just like cuttings. By the way guys, these kind of plants are not like so sensitive, so there's nothing to worry about it. As long as you have the aqua soil or garden soil substrate, and they will sprout on their own, they will grow on their own. And make sure you can you will occupy one third one third of your tank so that the algae will not penetrate your tank. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Because because perhaps or well, maybe some of you are still thinking why my planting tank like this why my planting tank is full of algae um, algae will just penetrate your tank if, so, if it has a lot of nutrients and you know See those small roots already sprouting. Yeah. So it will grow when it's already on your sustain. So this time guys um, let's add some water on it <laughs> and we'll just be careful so that the substrate will not be dissolved. 